My life in prime numbers. Mm. Two. I know I should start at the beginning, but prime numbers don't work that way. I have no true firsts, only blankets and low songs. My mother's black hair with curls bigger than my fists. Three. I remember building volcanoes in the sandbox. I used water to make quicksand, pretended it was lava I loved, turning that dust into something that could stick. I'm not so good at putting things together anymore. Five. At every family dinner, my father spent the whole meal scrawling equations onto paper napkins. He pulled me over with his bare paws. Watch closely, he said. These are the prime numbers. They cannot be divided by anything but themselves. If you put them together, you can make anything. Tell me, what's the biggest number you can think of? I don't know, Dad. A million. <laughs> sure, there's a million. Now imagine a million-story building splitting itself into floors, each one sturdy enough to create the impossible. You are strong enough to make something impossible. Seven. My first diary entry, verbatim. Today was Christmas. I got a Lego spaceship. Also, my cat died. Write more tomorrow. <laughs> On the trees, I saw names and dates carved by older men, numbers that hoped someone would remember a last record of their youth, a love song, 13, when the teachers found a bomb threat, taped to a locker between the homecoming invitations. They shuffled us home early. I left my childhood behind at that school and ran to a rooftop five blocks away, waiting for the cloud of smoke I imagined must one day come, 17. Prime numbers have no logic. They are found through endless testing. That year, a computer discovered the largest one yet known. I stopped trusting my own hands, thinking wires must be stronger. I spent the whole year searching for myself in small things. I forgot about treetops, about spaceships and volcanoes. 19. I know I should start at the beginning, but maybe we don't work that way. It is never too late to learn how to run again when we are children. Know that anything is possible. Why are we taught that growing up means abandoning that truth? My voice can be deeper now, so my songs are still loud. We are instruments carved from tree trunks. We are melodies as thick as quicksand. We are midnight guitars, unnamed chords. We are endlessly testing. Regardless of our patterns, we remain unpredictable. 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 43. What's the biggest number you can think of? Yeah! Oh, yeah!